Welcome to BandDirector.com. My name is Charlie Mangini. I'm director of bands at Vandercook College of Music in Chicago, Illinois. Today we're going to spend a moment talking about the warm-up. As we start every lesson, one of the things that we normally do is we warm up the band. Oftentimes, students think the warm-up is for the director's benefit. But really, there are things that we should make sure the students know and the students do in the course of their warm-up. So let's cover these key points. Number one is that we've got to make sure that this warm-up is a priority. It has to be a priority for us, and we have to let the students know it. it's a priority for them. One of the things that we should never do is clerical duties. It's not a good time to take attendance while we're warming up the ensemble. The first thing we want to do is we want to warm up the students' eyes. We want them to respond to our conducting gestures. As we warm up the eyes, we want to make sure that we're working on the precise placement of attack and the style, if it's legato, if it's staccato, if it's marcato. We want to teach the students that they need to respond to our gestures. We're going to work with the style. We're going to work with the placement. We need to vary the tempo so that students are playing at different speeds. We need to vary the style of music that we're conducting. We need to vary the meter, and we need to vary the dynamics, whether we're playing loud or whether we're playing soft. The importance of warming up their eyes in the, in the school band warm-up is crucial. Next, we should warm up their ears. Here we want students to really listen to the sound that they're creating. We should be asking students to match timbres within their section and from section to section. Don't be afraid to have the brasses play and then have the woodwinds match that same sound. It's important that we engage all various sections of the band, and we do it in small groups as well as large groups. Another way to warm up the ears is get students to respond to half steps and whole steps. This is especially important when they're playing melodic passages. It's going to be especially important to get trombone players to understand that there, there's a difference between half steps and whole steps on their instrument. When we get students to realize and to recognize the sound between a half step and a whole step, we're going to find that our bands are going to play much better in tune. We should also work with our students to get them to hear the note before they play it. If they're playing a long scale, we could ask them to play one tone, we could cut them off, ask them to hear the next tone before we play it, and then have them play the next tone. Getting them in that habit of anticipating the sound before they create it. Next thing that we have to do is we have to warm up their fingers. The warm-up has to have some sort of exercise where they're moving their fingers. We're getting some sort of coordination going, moving their digits. Maybe we're working on a tricky fingering spot in one of the pieces of music we're playing. Maybe we're working with scales. When we're warming up the fingers, we want to move slowly. We want them to be able to perform accurately, and we're teaching good muscle memory. After fingers, we want to warm up our tongues. We want to make sure that students learn that coordination and the start of each note, the sustain of each note, the release of each note, and the, and the different ways that our tongue functions to make such things as staccatos, legatos, marcatos, normal kinds of articulation. So we're going to really work with, with tongues. We're going to work with accents. We're going to work with speed and building up some sort of rhythmic intensity uh, in the, in the warm-up pattern. Next is we want to start on is coordination. Here we're combining moving our fingers and our tongues at the same time, getting students to play scale passages or other little uh, uh, episodes or, or uh, get, getting students to play scale passages or other excerpts uh, so that they can, they can uh, start to coordinate tongue and fingers to get clarity uh, in, in, their, in their playing. Uh, some tonguing and slurring exercises is also very, very important. And then finally in our warm-up, we're going to be teaching new concepts. Oftentimes, in a piece of music, we're going to have a new concept that we want to talk to a student about. Maybe it's a style of articulation, maybe it's a new rhythm, maybe it's a new uh, uh, term, but we want to put it in context, and the, the warm-up is an excellent place uh, to teach that. So as you approach your warm-up, try to follow these simple steps. Number one, make it a priority. 
warm up their eyes, warm up their ears, warm up their fingers, warm up their tongues. Put it all together, get some coordination going, and finally, don't be afraid to introduce new concepts in the course of your warm-up. Good luck.